welcome to Live Tech Australia. This is Nathan. Today I've got Norton Internet Security 2011 to review and kind of demonstrate it, show you all the cool features in it. So first I'm going to start. I've already installed this. It is so quick to install. It's amazing. All you do is put in the disk, just ask for your product key, it takes about two minutes and it's done. Fantastic stuff there. So now I've opened up my panel, you see all this. So you see all the stuff, you see your computer protection, network protection, web protection, and then you've got a link to safe web and whatever you put in a URL or a search term and that will only give you safe, only give you safe sites. I'll go back to my activity map. And I think that just shows where people are using. Yep, it just shows the number of threats. Yep, so here we go, 622 threats in Brisbane. Okay, so you've got your history and your quarantine. So I'm just having a look at my history now. And this will show me if my computer's been under attack. Look, it shows you exactly what happened. So I just installed this software and it said access is allowed and it did come up on the side there that it's all good. So, yep, there's its reputation level. Yep, so Norton is making this a lot easier for us. Yep, so this is why I need antivirus. Now you've got sonar protection. What the heck does that mean? At least Norton tells us. Just hover over it and it tells you exactly what it is. Got antivirus, anti spyware, intrusion prevention, email protection. Firewall, safe surfing, identity safe, schools your identity, browser protection, safe surfing, download intelligence, it tells you whether downloads are safe and whatever. Now a big thing is Norton Online Family. This is um, the it's part of the suite, it's included. Once you've installed this, it's just a free download. And this is all your parental controls. I'm just going to click onto that. So, I'm going to go into my online family here. And this will bring me up to. I log in. Sign in now. Yep, and now I'll just go put in my password. And I've made a few fictitious accounts. So, no, no, Bill hasn't been doing anything. No, Bob hasn't been doing anything the last seven days. Hazel hasn't been doing anything. But basically, this. lets you have a look at what your kids or whoever have been doing you can have a look at all the activity there's nothing in the last seven days let's see yep so bill hasn't been on but you can basically monitor everything um big thing is time you can see what time they've been on then you can um go to the settings time and you can turn time supervision on. Hmm. Now Bill. I don't want him going on for very long. He can only use the com he can't use the computer Monday to Friday and he can use on the weekends for two hours. That's it. So now that will automatically lock Bill's computer. I need to go update my settings. Yep. If I'm using computer on reap days, yep. I'm happy with that. Yep, so now Bill's account, he's not allowed to go on on weekdays. So and then if he was to log on on this computer, like I would go log off, whatever, and he would log on, it would come up with a couple of notifications, then it would just log him off. And it would also notify me, it would come up with my activity thing. Now if I want to add a new family member, Put in a child's name now. What will 
is not me. Live tech au.com. Actually, this is our blog, but anyway, live tech au.com is male and he was born in, yeah, I think he. The live tech au was born in like 2008. No, I don't know, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so he was born in 2008. Live Tech Australia is not protected. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Live Tech AU is not protected. So, now we need to make him an actual user account on my PC, which I'm not going to do, but now you kind of know how to do it. So, this is not an online family. I'm not going to log on on Bill. Just no point. And then there's Norton Safety Minder. And says my account is not. Mm. Minded. Now I can edit my accounts in that one. Bring me on to my. Yeah, and then it comes up with some. Look, it comes up with some other stuff, so. Yeah, Live Tech AU does not use this computer, that's all cool. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that, and then just closes me off. Now I'm going to just show you. Not in safe word. Now I've got no idea of an unsafe URL, but anyway. So safe search. Let's search web cams for sale. Bring me up with a special like protect type one. Well that's didn't that's not the right spelling. And this is Northern Safe Search through ask.com. So I've got a lot of stuff and this has all been approved by Norton. It's all been killed with the green light there. And it's not going to give you any dodgy sites. Unless Norton, of course, makes an error, which would be, which wouldn't be very good. And then you've got your online backup and you can log in. And I'm just going to check my status. Oh, I don't have one. Okay, well then you've got your subscription status down here and I've got 356 days remaining now I can always renew it if I wanted to but I don't want to now Norton has got performance this is where Norton is trying to prove to you that they're not using up your CPU because as a lot of people did notice they used to like some people thought of Norton as a virus in inverted commas because it would slow down your computer and stuff but now look it barely uses anything the yellow is Norton. This is the rest of my CPU. Norton, I think when it's active and doing the scans and stuff, then it's going to be using up more, but look, look at that. When it's just running in the background, it's basically not there. So that's pretty good. Then you can optimize and run a couple of things for you. You can get support, and this will give me all my things, credits. Yep, give me my serial number. Not the product key, luckily. My family skew, media skew, whatever. Yep. Um, Norton Tasks. And it gives you an even better one. Let's have a look what's been doing for 30 minutes. That zooms it right in. Get a more detailed one. Look. Me what the heck it's been doing. Show me what process it's been on. Um, this is Norton Internet Security 2011 for PC. It runs on Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. You can go buy it Norton.com or go buy it at any leading retailer. It's not expensive. It's definitely worth it. This is Nathan, Live Tech Australia. Check us out at youtube.com slash Live Tech Australia or Live Tech AU dot com. We hope to be doing some more product reviews and giveaways, so keep posted. Thank you for watching. This is Nathan for Live Tech Australia.